Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Solomon Firearms Training. This is Pierre. I'm making this video to help out all my fellow instructors who seem to be having some difficulty navigating the instructor page. Even though I taught you guys in bit training how to do all this, I'm going to show you all over again how to run the, um, the website. So as you can see right here, we're in the home webpage, right? So when you click on the home, it has all this information right here. Right here listed below is going to list all your ratings right here. So all your ratings are going to be below. You have a short, you have a short um, description of the classes coming up. And then on the side right here, this is where you can update your information. So if you want to update anything with the NRA, you just go ahead and annotate the information. And you can even put the groups that you're interested in right here. So if you're part of the, um, you know, the Boy Scouts of America, you can go ahead and um, put that in, or JROTC or anything like that. You can update all your information. Also, for a lot of you guys asking where can I print my certificates and things like that. So there's two ways you can do it. You have a, your ID card, which is actually a wallet card. So if I wanted to go right here and I wanted to print out the wallet, I can just print this um, certificate right here. And then I can export it to PDF. Look at that. Boom. When I export it to be PDF, it goes and then it allows me to download this. So once I do, once I get this, all I have to do is print this out, fold it in half. You would fold it in half along this line right here and then you get it laminated. So that's a little card that you can go ahead and put in your wallet without having to, um, for having to worry about, you know, hey, if I get pulled over or if I'm trying to prove my um, certification, you know, what do I do? So that's a wallet size, size ID you can have. You can also print your certificates right here. So it's broken down into RSO, the other courses, and refuse to be a victim. So the Chief Marine Safety Officer, as you see right here, is listed. It has your name. It has the title of the course you're certified in and the date that it's valid through. So every two years, you know, you got to pay your $30 to update your information. Same thing, you can export it to PDF or you can email it to anybody. So if you're going to work out a range and then the range says, hey, you know, I want proof that, you know, you can do this or that, then you can just type in John Doe at blah, 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 and then you can email the certificate right to them. So over here where it says training counselor, it's not going to say that for you. It's going to say instructor. Right, because obviously you're not a training counselor, and it's gonna state all your certs that you're certified in on one page. So as you can see here, home fire safety, pistol, rifle, shotgun, in the home, outside the home, all that is listed into one certificate. Before they used to divide them all, but that got too um crazy. So now you have one certificate that shows all your credentials. Same thing here, you got the date and everything like that. Also, if you do refuse to be a victim, it has its own certificate. I'm not sure why they don't bundle it with the other stuff. But um, they have their own right there. So for people that say, hey, I want my certificate with fancy paper, well, just go to your local Office Max or Staples or whatever, and you could buy the fancy certificate paper that you want, plug it into your printer, and then you print it out. Now you have fancy-looking paper that somehow makes you feel good. So if that's something you want to do, it looks super official, and it really makes you feel good, and you can go ahead and you can do that and post it. So that's located right here. Over here is has all the questions. So people always want to ask questions. Hey, what's the NRA doing? What's the NRA up to? If you click on the NRA training updates right here, it's going to lead you to a link with a bunch of different stuff. So if you want to go and you want to stay in the loop about what the NRA is doing, um, let's say let's click on something. Teaching tips still in the rotation. So boom, it gives you all the information, surveys, and yada, yada, yada. So all this information is going to be located right there for you. So we're going to go back. Um, we're going to go back one more time. Well, actually, this was a different um, link. Okay. So boom. A lot of people have questions about blended learning. Look, they have this highlighted in red. Blended learning questions about how to run your pistol course and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. I've already given a lot of you guys the information. But if you want to look at it in detail over yourself, here is the questions for... Um, you know, all, all the things re related to the blended learning. So now all your answers are questions. All your questions are answered. I'm sorry, English is my third language. Ha <laughs> ha 
But um, yeah, and then you can look up all the information, and they have all these numbers right here for you if you want to contact anybody. So if there's anybody you want to contact and you have specific questions, um, you can go ahead and contact them directly. Um, you can call me. Um, I should probably be the first guy that you call before you harass some of the guys at the in our headquarters. Um, I'll be happy to answer your questions. If I can't, then I will go and find the answer for you. Um, right here, you have the logo downloads. So if you want to download the logos, you got them right here. So they have each logo that you're able to um, print and put on your business cards and flies and things like that. As we talked about already in the bit course, there's certain logos that you're not authorized to use, and that is copyrighted. So if I want to do the instructor logo, black and white, Look at that, boom, it leads me to a black and white instructor NRA logo. And then it has a cool 1871 thing right there. So all the logos that you're authorized to use are gonna be right here. So if I wanted to do the training counselor color, it has boom, NRA training counselor and it's in color. So I get to see that cool logo right there. And then same thing for any other discipline, they have it in black and white and color. So you can go right there, access all your information, and then you'll be good to go. All right, um, that's pretty much it. Over here, they have a bunch of videos and things that they sell you. You can see right here, you got the incentive program. So if you wanna go buy some Daniel Defense, if you got funds like that in your uh, bank account, you can go ahead and buy some of their super expensive um, things. But you can click here, you can buy whatever you want, and you get an instructor um, discount. Um, and then yeah, you can go buy whatever you want. But if you got twelve hundred dollars to drop on the upper and things like that, <laughs> by all means, go ahead and knock yourself out. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of different um, companies that the NRA partners with to give you discounts and things like that. And then um, you have here; these are all your powerpoints. So these are your lesson plans and powerpoints for um, the ratings that you certified. You might say, hey, Pierre, how come I see all these links right here and I don't have anything under my um, page? Well, that's because you're not getting any certification. So for most of you guys, you only have home firearm safety or basic pistol. So the only thing that's going to pop up will be the gun safety seminar and um, the basic pistol phase two PowerPoint and lesson plan. So if you want more links, then you have to get more certifications and you could start looking cool like me right here and then you can get all the PowerPoints. I've also uploaded all the PowerPoints to our Facebook page. So if you are a, um, if you are a member of our Facebook um, instructor page, then you get access to all the PowerPoints and the latest stuff that I upload right here. Over here is just the examinations. So if you want the answers to the exam, then you can just click on this right here. So for example, this has the answer, this has the examination for home firearm safety instructor. And then I also have access to the answer key. So this is what, so the only thing that's gonna show up right here are things that you're certified in. So if you're not a training counselor, like the exam for the instructor course and things like that are not gonna pop up, because obviously you're not certified in that um, credentialing. Over here, they have the adaptive shooting program like we talked about. If you need to accommodate anybody, just go ahead and click on these links. And these things right here, they're just, um, they're just organizations that the NRA partners with and then you can download and get information. So I just got the pistol marksman simulator. And then, um, you know, this has, I guess, simulation information and whatnot. So this is a cool way, it talks about all the stuff. And then, um, yeah, so you can go ahead and dig through all that. So we're not gonna sit here and click on every possible thing, but, um, uh, let's get back online here um, yeah okay yeah and then you can just click through all these links and you could play around and then you could find out um, you know whatever you're interested in so boom that's the home page in a nutshell you got your know, short description of classes coming up you got this all that um, the NR insurance if you want it and things like that all right next thing you want to do is we're gonna go into the managed training and students so now when you click on here this has a list of all your classes coming up. So you have all these courses right here and it tells you the date, the location, and course description. You'll see over here in the red, this red right here means that you need to give attention to these classes. So right here, I need to input the information and I need to submit it. As you can see, there's not very, there's not much information that I'm putting in here. So I need to go back and I need to register my students in and then submit the class. 
So here we're going to give you a full description of all the classes we have coming up and all the people signed up. So you can see right here how many people are signed up. I have two, one, 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 one. These are all people that have already signed up for your instructor course. So I would recommend that you go out. You see my date. My date goes out to all the way um, to all the way to 2016. So I recommend that you guys go. Well, 17 January 1st, 2017. I recommend that you guys go and you put in all the classes that you have so people can start registering for your class. As you can see right here, I have people signed up for a class in November 6th, uh, Instructor Personal Protection Outside the Home. It's not even near November, but this guy's already signed up. He's all set. He's good to go. So, Pierre, how do I create a class? You know, I'm confused. All right, register new course. I'm going to click right here. And what class do I want to register? Okay, most of you guys are home firearm safety certified, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So when you click right here, it's going to go ahead and it's going to give you all the classes that you have available. So the one I'm going to pick is going to be NRA home firearm safety course. So I click this right here. Boom. The home firearm safety course, I'm good to go. You see how it automatically changes the, the time for you? So it automatically tells you how long the time is. So if I pick the chief range safety officer, you'll notice that the time changes to 14 hours. So the NRA is making it really easy for you to um, to get this. And a lot of people bash the NRA website. I think it's come a long way. Does it need to improve a little bit? Yeah, but for the most part, it's very good and gives you all the tools that you need. So when do I want to create my class? So I want to create my class 01 slash 01 2018, 2018. So this is what I do. So once I put the date that I want, I go ahead and I copy. So I command C, copy, end date, copy and paste, and the date you want people to register. So personally for me, I don't care. You can register a day of. You can call me at 5 in the morning and say, hey, man, I'm coming to your class that you got at 9 p.m. Can you, you know, can I register? Sure, why not? Why wouldn't you want that student to come in? But if you want a specific date that you want them to, to be registered by or else they can't come in, then sure, you can put on a date. But for me, I put the date of the class available. Now the fee, you put the price that you want. I charge $130 for my home firearm safety. Do you want an initial deposit? I personally don't like deposits. I think deposits scare people, but you also hear the other side of the argument where people say, well, people can sign up for your class and they don't show up. And then now, you know, now you have a problem. So, um, so it's up to you, but personally, I don't do deposits. I just let people come in. If they don't show up, oh well, they don't show up, then, you know, they missed out on some awesome trainings. I don't really care. Number of seats. How many people can you teach? I don't want to teach any more than 20 people at a time. I think after 20 people, things get crazy. So I put number of seats. I put 20. Boom, right here. Then you can do online student registration. Course displayed online. If you want it to be a private class, you cannot have the course displayed online. You can do women only, youth only, appropriate student packets and stuff like that. Well, obviously this is mandatory, so you can't even check it off. But this is you get to pick whatever you want. Do you want a women only class? Do you want a, you know, whatever Boy Scouts of America only? Then you put your name right here. You put your contact name. So P I E R E S A L O M O N. Location venue. See, so it's really, um, it's really self-explanatory. But some people seem to have difficulty, so it's okay. I have no problem um, creating this video for you. Boulder Ave. You put the city, and then state. Zip code zero two five seven. Phone number. And then you put your email address. So, Lamont, fire on email. All right, here is the notes section. I highly recommend you put something as you, as I will show you later on in the video. Um, there's a thousand classes being taught. So when you put the notes, when you put something in the notes, you really make yourself stand out and you give your student an opportunity to learn a little bit more than just the basic information. So I'm going to go right here. For the notes, I'm going to put testing for video. But in reality, you would actually put something like of value for the student to read and be able to contact you in details and things like that. So then I'm going to click register right here. Oh, boom, look what I did. Oh, no, I didn't put the hours that I wanted to teach the class. The NRA website will automatically tell you the information that you filled out and that you have wrong. So you see how I forgot to put the hours right here? 
it automatically popped up tells me required required it points out exactly where you need to update the information great thing about it is it keeps all your regular information that you've already put in so you don't have to retype anything so hours what time I usually teach my classes from 10 a.m. and then end time is going to be uh, so we'll do math 10 11 12 1 2 Yes, I actually just use my fingers to count because I am terrible at math. I like to put 3 p.m. because you're considering breaks and then lunch and things like that. So it just gives an accurate description of how much time the student is actually going to get there. Plus, not everybody shows up on time. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to reattempt to register a student. And boom, I've made it through. Now it tells me my you know if I want to assist anybody so if anybody is doing some team teaching as we talk about in the bit training you can put the person's NRE ID number so they can get credit for it um, if you don't then you can just click finish right here when you click finish right here and now you're gonna go we're gonna go to the last page and we're gonna see what time you see I'm teaching this class January 1 2018 it automatically populates right here it gives you the location it gives you the course description, the seats, how many people registered, and all that right here. So that's how you create a class, that's how you find your class, and then you know you can go and make adjustments. Hey Pierre, I gotta change something about my class, you know, uh, I don't know, um, I can't make it at 10 p.m. anymore, 10 a.m., I wanna change my class. Well, just go back to manage. So you can go back to manage, manage your class, you can go to edit course right here, when edit the course, I can no longer teach it at 10 a.m. I have an obligation or something happened. I have to start the class at 12 p.m. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to click 12. We're going to click p.m. And now we got to push that time back, right? Because now we got to adjust the time. So 12 p.m. So 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now you've adjusted the time and the stuff that you got to do. Now you click update. When you click update, Boom, look at that. All that information is updated now. You're good to go. You can also send an email right here to all your students. So you can say, hey, you know, class is starting at 12 p.m. now. Come on, because I need to drop my kids at soccer practice. You probably shouldn't tell them that, but I'm just making up some stuff, right? So here, boom, you click send an email, and it's going to send an email to everyone who's registered to your class. Because there's nobody there, there's no point of sending an email because no one has actually registered for my fictional class. So boom, now we're good. We've made the updates that we need. When you go back to manage training and students, you can look at all the classes that you've, that you've taught. So you can look here, you can go back in time, and you could see all the different classes that you taught at that time. You can go here. So if I wanted to go back, when did I start? If I wanted to go back all the way to February 22nd in um, 2014, I can go I can go and I can click to everybody there. All right, so we're not gonna click on any more of that stuff because it shows people's personal information. All right, cool. All right, um, so yeah. So this goes to all the classes you've teached. Anybody that you've helped teach a class, you can go to Course Assisted right here. Courses assisted right here will show you all the classes that you co-taught and did some team teaching with. Because I've run all my classes myself, I don't have anybody. If you click on all students, it's going to show you every student who's ever registered to your classes. Um, I'm not going to click on that here because I have students' personal information and I don't want anybody to, um, to see that. So click on all students, it's going to populate all your students' information that's available. Then you have... Um, all waiting students so any students on our wait list so you so remember how I did you know only 20 20 students available for the class if 25 people sign up for your class they're gonna come right here in the waiting list so if somebody dropped out and say hey man I got to work that day I can't you know make it to class then you can drop them from your class and then grab one of these students from the waiting list and then plug them in so that way you don't have to worry about that um, and then that's how you do that Hey, Pierre, you know, I created a class, but I can't, you know, I can't teach anymore. I broke my leg, so now I'm not available. So now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to look at the class that I created, and I'm going to click cancel. I'm canceling because, and then are you sure you want to cancel the class? The NRA is going to make sure that you do want to cancel the class. I'm going to click OK. Then you can click the reason for canceling. Lack of students, facilities, illness, other 
So I'm going to put other. I'm going to put testing features. Boom. And that's the reason why I came from the class. You can write whatever you want or select one of these options if they fit you. Then you go back and you click cancel course. And boom, your class is canceled. So when we go back, you see how there's no more page three. So page two, the last class would be on that January 1, 2007. So there you go. I've showed you how to create classes, how to delete them, how to edit them, how to add students. Oh, oh, there we go, how to manually add students. So if you manually add a student, right, so if, if we go back to, um, all right, let's go right here to 2000, right here, manage. If you want to manually add a student, all you have to do is click registered. Look, look, I already have a John Doe registered here. Ha, ha, ha. So if I wanted to act, register a student, I can register. And then I could click, you know, Jane Doe, do whatever I got to do, and then you can register, you can manually register the student right there. When you when that student has done completed your class, then you click um you click paid update attended. So if I'm done right here, I'm gonna click paid. I'm gonna update that information. I'm gonna click attended. I'm gonna update that information. I'm gonna click past and update, and then you go and you submit the course. Um, but obviously this is a fake class because um I obviously can't teach in 2017. Unless I have discovered time traveling um, powers, I can't do that. So, but if I could, I probably, um, that would be interesting. I'd go in the future and get cool, non mass um, qualified guns and do crazy things. But anyway, um, I've deleted that class. Now we are all set. Um, let's go back to the home page. Um, I think this is it. Special offers right here. It's just discounts and things, so if you want to go and get a stirrup pistol or some cutaways or anything cool, you can go ahead and click on this right here. So if I wanted a cutaway to, you know, use as a, um, as a, what you call it, a, um, wow, training aid, there we go, sorry, my brain is still a little um, slow, but yeah, so if you wanted a training aid, you can look right here and you can show students what inside of the powder and everything looks like so this would be an awesome way to get um some good training aids right here so you can click here and then you can just go and you know check it out so we're not going to go into details here we're just going to go and um back here all right so that's that if you want to order materials we're going to do a separate video for ordering materials it'll bring you to a separate website so um we're just going to do that another day um, last thing, renew your ratings. So every two years, you need to renew your rating right here and put in all the information, verify your instructor, and renew. Um, you guys have also asked me, hey, Pierre, how do I know, you know what my students see when they log online? So I'm going to click NRA courses, right? So NRA, NRA courses. I'm going to go ahead and Google NRA course. Find an NRA course. So when a student goes, the student is going to come here, a student is going to say, Hey, I want to sign up for um, I want to sign up for home firearm safety. Boom! The student signs up for home firearm safety. They go zip code zero two seven seven seven. Then the student will say, "Okay, I want to train within you know fifty miles of my home." And they go click right here. This is all the classes that's showing up for home firearm safety. So this is what your student is looking at when they um. When they're looking for classes so there's somebody in rhode island teaching home firearm safety i'm going to click and look at it and see what happens so john smirker he's charging 150 dollars, so he's charging 20 dollars more than me and he has a 25 dollars initial deposit so you can see right here how all your information that you put in when you registered the class pops up right here we're going to see if this guy put any notes so the only notes he put is home fire safety course also a valuable course to take for carry permit qualifications. So you see right here how you put in a note. Um, I would put more than that. I do put more than that, but um, you know, we'll go and we compare. This guy charges $100. So you can go over here and you can see your competition and see what they're offering. Comments, all students will, material will be provided. There will be a module for masters of gun law. Students will also have the option to schedule a one-on-one -on -one for additional $50. So this guy charges $150 for home firearm safety, pretty much. He just broke it up and tried to be sneaky about it. 
But um, you can go back here and you can look at your competition and um, look who is teaching in your area. And you can see, so how, how will a student figure out how to come to you? So that's why I tell people to write notes because how do you know that, you know, how will a student pick you? See, this guy has a lot of good information right here. This is good. He's putting some good info and, um, and all that. So um, I think that's pretty much it. So now you see how students will find the information that you put in. And now you've seen how you put the information in. And the students will be able to view your, um, your classes that are coming up and stuff. So if you appreciated this video, if I clarified some questions that you had, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Solomon Firearms Training, spread the word, spread the video. So um, thank you very much, and if you have any more questions or concerns or any other videos you'd like me to do, just go ahead and comment below, and I will um, make a video. But if you don't subscribe, I won't make the video for you. Ha ha ha. That's my, um, that's my, what's the word I'm calling? Uh, that's my bargain. I don't know. But yeah, all right, cool. We're done. Um, and let me know if you have any more questions, all right? Bye.